John Leslie Brown here, your governor, and I'm here with the Concerned Citizen, and we're developing the 100 year plan for California. And so, Mr. And, and, what's your name again? Antonio. Garcia. Antonio Garcia. Yeah. Excuse me. Antonio Garcia. Let the people know what's your hundred-year plan for California. Well, uh, my hundred-year plan for the state of California would be that it is the most business-friendly state in the entire country, and that no company would ever think about leaving California for a better deal. Wow. This, this is why we need to put the power back into people's hands. Now talk about what what's some of the reasons why California is not the best business-friendly state. Why are we at the bottom five? There, there's a lot of reasons. There's too much regulation. Uh, we, we overtax our businesses. In many states, when a, when a business wants to invest and they bring equipment into this state and they've paid for that equipment, they now just use it. In California, we charge them 1% every year just to have that equipment in our state. Now, if you're manufacturing something and you've spent billions of dollars on equipment, do you want to spend another $100,000 every year in taxes that do nothing? No. no. That's thinking that money can solve all of our problems. Almost. No. But what it does, it pushes businesses away. It does. And over 10,000 businesses and the jobs that go along with those businesses have yeah. left California in recent years. And, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's not just the big companies like, like Toyota. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when Toyota leaves and all those jobs go somewhere else, then all the supporting jobs go away with them. The, the, the restaurants, mm -hmm. the, the clothing stores, mm -hmm. the, the service industries, they all go too because you know that, that one major employer had a hundred smaller businesses that it supported. Exactly, and, and that's why, see I believe in, I believe in trickle down leadership and nurture up economics, okay? Yeah. Where you've got the best leaders at the top of the ticket so that you can model great behavior, yeah. but you focus people, you know, you focus in the key areas that need it the most. People at the bottom of the pyramid who we really need to nurture and make sure that we have the skills for the new economy. A lot of times I hear people talking about, okay, jobs, 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 but however, if you do not have the mindset and the personal responsibility to be prepared for this new economy, the jobs that went overseas are coming back. Is that right? No. Jobs that completely leave the country are, are unlikely to come back, especially if that company has already invested in training people there. Exactly. Right? So they're not going to want to come back and train people here if they've already trained someone somewhere else. So you need to be responsible to train yourself. Yes. And then the opportunities will be available. Yes, yes, because the government's job is not to give you a job. Government doesn't create jobs. No. Entrepreneurs create jobs, and entrepreneurs are hurt when they cannot afford to... To, to actually feed their own families, get their inventory, and deal with the taxes and regulation instead of being the creative innovators that create wealth and that can use that wealth to create generational wealth. And did you know that that 70% as wealth is gone by the first by the second generation and yeah. only 90% by the third? And so we need a long-term, durable, sustainable plan. That's why I'm so happy that you paint that vision. So 100 years from now, you hold it from us. 100 years from now, California is going to be the most business-friendly state in the entire country. Boom! Right there. This is the first 100-year plan. We are at the CRP. John Leslie Brown, thank you so much. <laughs>